Hello, my name is Niathi Rentla, and today I will be conducting a formal analysis of the painting Water Lilies and Japanese Bridge by artist Claude Monet. To introduce the painting, Claude Monet's painting Water Lilies and Japanese Bridge was created in 1899, and Claude Monet himself was a pioneer of the Impressionist movement. He had lived from 1840 to 1926 and also had a hobby of gardening, which will become relevant later in the presentation when we discuss the meaning of the painting itself. Specifically, it is important to note that the last 30 years of his life were filled with paintings of water lilies. Specifically, there were also 250 water lily oil paintings that he painted at this time. Water Lilies and Japanese Bridge is a notable piece that implies elements of design such as color and texture to evoke emotion. This painting can be evaluated with philosophies such as the expressive and formal theories. As for the formal qualities that this painting has, it is a 2D oil painting and its size is overall 81.3 by 101.6 centimeters and framed it is 101 by 120.7 by 7.6 centimeters. The type of painting, the type of artwork is representational. The painting is representative of the real life garden that Monet had created in Givarnay and was his passion. It is not abstract because the subject matter is there, however, abstract would require a much higher level of distortion. Similarly, it is not non-representational because there is a clear subject that is being created in the picture. As for the subject of the picture, the subject matter, as stated before, is the bridge from Monet's garden as well as Monet's garden itself. The painting does look like the intended subject matter, and as for the other physical qualities of the painting, there is a slight distortion which occurs with Impressionism in general. However, this isn't the distortion to the extent of abstract distortion, and therefore this painting is still representational. It is also faded due to the hues used within the painting, and is also monochromatic because green is the one color that is used the most throughout the painting and there are different hues of green used throughout. In terms of other facts about the painting, this painting is contemporary. It is not historical because it does not refer to an important historical event or does not hold any historical significance outside of art history. Moreover, it is not religious because it does not make any clear religious references in the painting. The painting was made in 1899, and at this point of time in France, the art community was well unified due to the high globalization happening at the time. This piece specifically was an artwork of passion, which means that it was not commissioned by anyone, it was not motivated by anyone other than Claude Monet himself. As for the principles of design evident within this painting, First would be unity. The colors are unified, uh, highly unified, because they are all green and they do have a slight hue, but they are all green. However, the lilies do provide a varying contrast. This would not be counted as variety. However, it does provide a slight contrast and disrupts that unity. Second, the emphasis and subordination. The central location of the bridge does act as an emphasizing factor in the painting and is the focal point um, of the painting itself. On that note, the directional force is the bridge in this case as it motivates the viewer's eye to look to the center of the painting. Um, both vertically and horizontally, the bridge is right in the center, which makes the viewer focus on the bridge. It does not make the viewer move their eye right or left, but simply in the middle. In terms of repetition and rhythm, 
The pond underneath does have a rhythm because of the way that the water lilies are arranged. It does look like the water is almost moving and is almost real. Um, the lilies themselves also have a repetitive pattern and rhythm in the way they are arranged. The color palette is also very similar. In terms of contrast, there is mostly a lack of contrast throughout the picture, except for the lilies themselves. The lilies are very small, but they do provide a slight contrast, which is useful um, in the painting. In terms of balance, the picture is the painting is approximately symmetrical, and this is because of the bridge. The bridge makes it symmetrical. However, the background, which includes the foliage and the lilies, makes it asymmetrical slightly, which, however, because the bridge is a focal point, it can be concluded that the painting is approximately symmetrical. As for the scale and proportion, the proportion of water lilies in this painting is lower than the proportion that the bridge consumes in the painting. However, uh, therefore, the proportion of water lilies is lower than the bridge. As for the interpretation, uh, the painting is a depiction of Claude Monet's garden at Giverny. He combined his two passions of painting and gardening in order to create the masterpiece. He wanted to express the beauty and inner peace that can be achieved when harmony is established between nature and humans. The viewer's experience is not far from Monet's intention, as the admirer can also feel at peace with nature while observing this painting. The fact that Monet chooses to include that the bridge is Japanese in the title is significant due to his appreciation for Japanese art. Additionally, the admiration of art that represented Yukio, the Buddhist word for our material surroundings, is reflected in this piece. This can only be derived because the bridge was labeled as a Japanese bridge by Monet. It was through the Japanese bridge title that we were able to conclude that this painting is about the harmony between nature and humanity. In terms of the formal qualities that give us meaning, First, we have the green uniformity of the picture, which creates harmony within the picture's elements themselves and therefore creates harmony for the viewer. The slight pink contrast and lighter colors that are in the lilies add pops of color to add the extra emotional layer of joy to the painting. As for the symmetricness of the painting, this represents the balance with nature that humans should have, and the directional force of the bridge being at the center represents the centering life force of the humans that can be created with harmony with nature. As for the artistic philosophies that can be applied, first, the formal theory. This is an impressionist painting, there is, which means that it is slightly distorted. There is no sky in the background, and the focal point of the foreground is the bridge, so clearly there is some purpose tied to that. Uh, the painting is approximately symmetrical. There is a low contrast, and there is overall unity within the painting because of the low contrast. As for the contextual theory of art, the explosion of art occurred during the 1890s due to the increased globalization. This is mainly because of two global exhibitions um, around that time. First, the Great Exhibition in Britain in 1851 and the Exposition Universelle in 1867 in France. Because of this, artists were thriving at the time uh, because these exhibitions had featured art from many different countries. And Monet himself had an appreciation for Japanese art which had lent him to create this painting and embed the meaning of the Buddhist beliefs of harmony with nature. As for the expressionist theory, Monet did have a hobby for gardening and a love for Japanese art. He combined his two hobbies of art and gardening to create this painting. And I believe that the expressionist theory is the most effective because this garden is personal to Monet. He wanted to evoke an appreciation for nature with this piece, which is clear as viewers admire it even today. To conclude, Monet's piece, Water Lilies and Japanese Bridge, is a prime example of the Impressionist movement and introduces the viewer to a unique perspective. 
Monet's agile cognition and expressive style allowed him to not only pioneer this movement, but also create this piece which bridges the gap between humanity and nature. His adept use of design elements are what has allowed him to create an expressionist piece of this caliber. It is no doubt that Water Lilies and Japanese Bridge is a work that will remind the viewer that humans are not alone on this earth. Thank you.